You look at the expanse of the ocean and you just know it's full of crazy creatures. The good news is that you can't see them from the surface, and most of us won't have the displeasure of seeing some of the more unusual or nightmarish ones in person, just on camera. From a squishy blobfish to the festive Christmas tree worms, here are 20 mysterious underwater creatures caught on tape. Number 20. Japanese Spider Crab Japanese spider crabs are definitely one of the most mysterious underwater creatures. They're marine crabs from water surrounding Japan and are believed to have the largest leg span of any arthropod we know about. Their legs reach lengths of 12.1 feet from claw to claw, while their bodies might grow up to around 16 inches. They can also weigh a whopping 42 pounds, so yeah, they aren't exactly small. And they sure do look ferocious. The good news is that they're really not. These orange crabs with white spots are allegedly quite gentle, even though they look like they could snap your limbs with their giant claws. Crab fisheries consider them quite desirable, and they're a delicacy in Japan, but conservation efforts are currently trying to protect their populations from overfishing. If you were going to find these crabs anywhere, they would mainly be around the Japanese island of Honshu's southern coast. However, some have also been found around Taiwan. Most adults live at depths of up to 1,970 feet, and they hang out in vents and holes in the depths of the ocean. They are also most comfortable when waters are between 43 and 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. A man was out diving in the ocean and had attached his camera so that he could record what he had discovered. Unfortunately, the diver drops his camera in the ocean, but when he looks at the footage after going back to retrieve it, he is shocked by what he sees. There appear to be some kind of giant mutant creatures with crustacean-like shells and full sets of human-like teeth. They also appear to be kind of alien-like and made up of nuts and bolts. That was the only picture he managed to recover from his camera, and it was shocking, especially with a great white shark lurking in the background. What do you think they were, and what were they doing with a great white shark? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Anglerfish The anglerfish has a face only a mother could love. This ambush predator fish, also known as the humpback anglerfish or deep sea anglerfish, is a terrifying looking medium sized fish that you'll find in the open ocean's bathypelagic zone. This means it lives deep, deep down at around 6,600 feet, so most people will never see one in real life. They live their entire lives without any sunlight, and they definitely look like they don't get any. It's believed that most of their features relate to their living environment and the challenges they face within it. For example, their massive mouths, giant stomachs, and incredibly long and pointy teeth all relate to their eating opportunities. As suitable prey can be hard to come by, they can open their mouths wide just to eat anything and everything they find to sustain themselves. Anglerfish also have a lure to attract their prey, which contains bacteria they can use to light it up and improve their chances of a tasty snack. They can choose to show this lure or not by positioning their muscular skin flap over the top or pushing it back. When they move their lure back and forth, prey like fish and pelagic crustaceans typically come closer out of curiosity and are subsequently eaten. 
However, the females, which are the only anglerfish to have the lures, also use them to attract mates. The male anglerfish are much, much smaller than them and are not predatory. Instead, they just latch onto females with their teeth and fertilize their eggs. Many of them then become parasitic and never leave her. They just feed on her blood and become her baby maker for life. Number 18. Blobfish the blobfish once won the Ugly Animal Preservation Society's competition for the world's ugliest animal. And honestly, you won't disagree with the verdict. Blobfish are deep-sea fish that look normal in deep waters surrounding Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. They live down to around 3,900 feet, where the pressure is up to 120 times more than at sea level. However, they definitely turn ugly when they're caught as bycatch in bottom trawling nets and brought to the surface. The damage done by the decompression causes them to appear blob-like and they lose all form. Sadly, they also die when they come to the surface, even if they're released. Most fish have gas-filled cavities such as swim bladders, but blobfish don't. If they did, they would just collapse due to the extreme pressure in their preferred environment. Instead, blobfish have jelly-like flesh and very little in the way of a skeleton, because they use the water to provide their structural support. Once you remove them from a deep pressure environment, of course they're gonna look like they're barely holding it together. That's because they are. Number 17. Greenland Sharks Greenland sharks, which people also call gray sharks and gurry sharks, are large sharks from around the Arctic Ocean and North Atlantic Ocean. Sometimes they've even been found in the Caribbean. These sharks are believed to have the longest lifespan of all known vertebrate species of up to 500 years and are also among the largest sharks we have today. They grow up to 14.1 feet long and tip the scales at up to 2,200 pounds. But there have been some sharks found measuring as long as 24 feet long and weighing 3,100 pounds. However, most Greenland sharks are an average of 8 to 16 feet and weigh around 880 pounds. Unlike other sharks that tend to be the same color, Greenland shark colors can vary. Some are light, creamy gray, while others are black to brown. Most of their bodies are uniform in color, but some have streaks or spots on their backs. Greenland sharks are apex predators and mainly eat fish like herring, cod, flounder, and lumpfish. They also eat seals and will even eat sharks. Smaller Greenland sharks mostly eat squid, while larger ones go after bigger prey, like seals. When you compare their speed to other sharks, they're incredibly slow, moving at cruising speeds of up to 0.76 miles an hour. As a result, they typically feast on animals that are sleeping. Number 16. Colossal Squid You would be pretty terrified if you came across a colossal squid in the ocean. Also known as the Antarctic squid, they grow up to 1,091 pounds with a maximum length of up to 46 feet. They also have the largest eyes of any known creature. All the better to see you with, my dear. Oh, look at the color change there! The colossal squid shares many features with other squid species, like eight arms, two tentacles, two fins, one pair of gills, and a head. However, there are a few that make it stand out from the crowd. For example, they have swiveling or three-pointed hooks on their arms or tentacles, which most other species don't have. Their eyes are also much larger than most other species. It's believed that they live in quite a large area from the north of Antarctica to the south of South America and South Africa and the very southern tip of New Zealand. There's also a hotspot area between the Kerguelen Archipelago and the Weddell Sea. Researchers aren't really sure about their feeding behavior, but it's thought that they feast on smaller squid and large fish. The Antarctic toothfish is also believed to make up a core part of their diet. Most people won't see colossal squid in person, but you can view two specimens of them at the Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongarua in Wellington, New Zealand. Number 15. Black Swallower Fish can you imagine eating something multiple times your own mass? It would seem impossible, 
But that's the magic power of the black swallower fish. This deep sea fish can swallow prey up to 10 times its own mass and twice its size in just one bite. Even though they only grow up to around 4 inches long, with a maximum known length of 10 inches, they will happily feast on creatures 8 inches long. They also don't waste any time chewing, and instead will just swallow their food whole. It saves time, I guess. Black swallowers are most commonly found around North America, happily living 10,000 feet below the ocean surface where most people can bother them. And it's probably a good thing most of us will never see them in person because they are scary looking, despite their small size. They have long heads, big jaws, blackish brown skin, and no scales. Yeah, that's right, they are scaleless fish. They also have a set of sharp teeth. They don't use these for chewing, but they come in handy for clamping down on food and shoveling it into their gobs. They also, of course, have very large stomachs. When they're full of food, they extend so far out of their bodies that they appear transparent and you can see what they've eaten. Number 14. Goblin Shark Goblin sharks aren't the most aesthetically pleasing sea creatures. They are rare, deep-sea sharks with a lineage dating back 125 million years, and they certainly look that old. They have flat, elongated snouts, jaws with nail-like teeth, and bodies measuring up to 13 feet long. However, some have also been captured measuring about 20 feet. Which is a terrifying thought. Goblin sharks are described as benthopelagic, which means they live and feed at the bottom of the ocean. They can also be found in sea mounts, submarine canyons, and continental slopes. Most of the time, they won't be found any higher than 330 feet, and they can dive down to 4,270 feet for short periods. As they're not fast swimmers, goblin sharks are considered ambush predators. Their oily liver and low-density flesh make them buoyant so they can simply drift toward their prey without making too many movements until they catapult their jaws forward to snatch up prey. Most of the time, they feast on teleost fish like dragonflies and rat tails. However, they also eat crustaceans, isopods, decapods, and cephalopods. We know quite a lot about goblin sharks, but we don't know everything. Scientists haven't been able to study a pregnant female yet, and we don't know how big females grow or how long they live. Number 13. Leafy Sea Dragons Even if you've seen a leafy sea dragon before, it's pretty likely that you wouldn't know you have. They are the masters of camouflage. They have leaf-like appendages all over their bodies and just look like seaweed floating through the water. Predators have a hard time spotting them, and that's exactly how the leafy sea dragons like it. Leafy sea dragons are from the same family as seahorses and can be found in Australia. More specifically, they prefer to live around the southern coastline all the way over to western Australia. In these areas, you'll most likely find them blending in with kelp-covered rocks below low tide. But if you manage to identify one, you'll see they do have sea creature-like features. They have a pipe-like snout and a small mouth, and they use these to feast on small crustaceans, mycids, and plankton. The looks are definitely one of the most interesting things about leafy sea dragons, but their reproduction process is absolutely wild, too. Males carry the eggs fixed underneath their tails, and this is where they hatch. Females typically know that the males are ready to receive their eggs when the lower part of their tail starts to wrinkle. Females will then lay up to 250 eggs onto a brood patch beneath their tails, and the babies will be born within 6 to 8 weeks. Number 12. Christmas Tree Worm When you picture worms, you imagine slithery, slimy, and tiny snake-like critters hanging out in the dirt. But the Christmas tree worm is much, much different. It's all in the name, really. They look like little tiny pine trees that grow up to one and a half inches long and are approximately the same in diameter. They weigh mere ounces, and most don't actually grow longer than one inch. They are tiny. Christmas tree worms have two crowns coming out of their tube-like bodies, which are made up of radioles. 
The radials are appendages that resemble hair coming out of the worm's spine. They can be a range of bright colors like yellow, blue, white, red, and orange, and they use them to catch their food. Interestingly, the worms are mostly sedentary. Same, actually. They don't have the appendages they would need for swimming, so they settle their little worm bodies on a piece of coral. The coral then grows around the worm to form a tube. Most Christmas tree worms can live up to 40 years, but that would be in an unpolluted environment. We all know what we've done. So most live between 10 to 20 years due to a combination of climate change and predators. These interesting little critters can mostly be found in shallow waters under 100 feet deep in tropical oceans between the Caribbean Sea and the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Number 11. Northern Stargazer the northern stargazer fish, found from North Carolina to New York, isn't exactly the most attractive fish. The blackish-brown fish with white spots and dark horizontal stripes grows up to 22 inches long and has a prominent, flat forehead. It also has a weird amount of body mass near its mouth, making it look like its face is pointing upward, hence the name Northern Stargazer. But their faces aren't positioned this way by accident. They hide on the sandy bottoms of coastal waters and position their faces upward so they can see the prey above them. The tops of their heads also have electric organs, so they can shock prey if they wish to. These organs are around each of their eyes and consist of about 200 layers of electric tissue. When they're ready to reproduce, they lay eggs on the bottom of bays, which float to the surface. The larvae grow up to about 0.28 inches upon hatching before they slowly turn into fish. Their electric organs develop when they're about half an inch long. When this happens, they swim to the bottom of the water and grow into adults. Number 10. Red Handfish Red handfish kind of look like a creature you'd see on a Pokemon card. They are critically endangered fish from the coastal waters of eastern Tasmania and live on sandy areas on top of and surrounding rocks. They get the name handfish from their ability to use their fins as hands. They use them to perform a walking motion along the sea floor, and it is hilarious to watch. Red handfish are benthic, which means they hang out around sandy and rocky parts of the sea floor, and here they eat worms and small crustaceans. There are believed to be at least two color varieties, one with red embellishments and one that's red all over. Both types grow no larger than about 5 inches long. There are believed to be fewer than 1,000 red handfish left in the ocean, which is kinda sad. The species find it challenging to survive due to poaching for pets and low reproductive and dispersal rates. It might not be long until there are none left, although there's a recovery plan for the species in place. Number 9. Wabagong Shark Wabagong Shark is the common name for about a dozen carpet sharks living in the shallow, temperate, and tropical waters of the eastern Indian Ocean and the western Pacific Ocean. It's believed that the name Wabagong comes from the aboriginal language in Australia, which means shaggy beard. That might sound unusual, but wait till you learn what they look like. These 4.1 foot long bottom dwelling sharks have small weed-like whisker lobes around their jaw, which both act as sensory barbs and provide them with camouflage to hide amongst rocks. When they hide, they can catch small fish that swim close to them. And they do this with ease because of their needle-like teeth positioned within powerful jaws. Now, most people wouldn't consider wabagong sharks dangerous to humans, but that doesn't mean they haven't attacked us. Swimmers, scuba divers, snorkelers, and surfers have reported being attacked by them when they got too close, and there are at least 50 reports of unprovoked attacks. Fortunately, none of them have been fatal. They may not be fatal, but that's not to say the bite of a wabagong isn't painful. Their small and sharp teeth can bite through wetsuit material, and they like to hold on. Their teeth can be very difficult to remove from your skin. Number 8. Peacock Mantis Shrimp the peacock mantis shrimp could easily be described as one of the most beautiful and mesmerizing sea creatures. 
Just like the peacock bird, they're brightly colored, and this coloring makes them desirable additions to people's home aquariums. Peacock mantis shrimp live on coral reefs and sand flats of the Indo-Pacific Ocean and stand out for their blue, green, red, and yellow coloring. However, the females tend to be redder than any other color. But don't let their beauty fool you. You would not want to mess with them. They are incredibly powerful hunters and feast on fish and hard-shelled invertebrates. When they want to break apart their shelled prey, they just perform a fast punch with their front appendages, and it's game over for their lunch. Their punches are so powerful that they could even break through aquarium glass. So you know that snails, shrimps, crabs, and other crustaceans simply don't stand a chance. They're believed to be the most colorful and largest mantis shrimp species, which definitely contributes to their desirability with aquarium owners. However, more experienced aquarium owners prefer not to have them because they just eat the other invertebrates and fish in their tanks. Number 7. Pink See-Through Fantasia the pink see-through fantasia, also known as swimming sea cucumber, headless chicken monster, and headless chicken fish, is perhaps one of the most mysterious and unusual sea creatures you'll ever hear about. Their coloring is definitely their most distinct feature, as they are bright pink, but larger varieties tend to be more red and brown in color. They have semi-transparent, round and bulbous bodies and large anterior sails, and some are even bioluminescent. They're so unusual that they almost look like the creation of a fantasy author. These swimming sea cucumbers also have webbed swimming fins that help them swim from the surface of the sea floor and travel about 3,000 feet up to enter the water column. They'll then travel to new feeding grounds. This action also helps them avoid predators. Most pink see-through fantasia live in the ocean's benthic zone, and they can be found worldwide in various regions. They spend most of their time in the water column, but can occasionally be found on the sea floor eating. Here, they use their tentacles to push food into their mouths. Number 6. Frogfish Frogfish, a type of anglerfish, are small, short, and stocky fish that live in tropical and subtropical oceans worldwide, except in the Mediterranean Sea. They're usually covered in spinules and other little appendages, and these help them camouflage themselves from both prey and predators. Some frogfish can even change color to help them blend in with whatever algae they're hiding in. When they're on the hunt for food to eat, they lie in wait, move slowly, and then strike in just 6 milliseconds. Their food doesn't stand a chance. These stocky fish grow up to about 15 inches long and have scaleless, bare bodies. Their bodies have up to 23 vertebrae, and they also have weird-looking, upward-pointed mouths with strange-looking palatal teeth. Most frogfish are brightly colored with a multitude of colors like white, yellow, red, green, and black. Some even have spots. Researchers don't know much about their reproductive behavior, but it's believed most species are free-spawning. The females will lay their eggs in the water, and the male will come in and fertilize them. The female is always much larger than the male, and her abdomen swells up with 180,000 eggs before she lays them. Number 5. Ribbon Eel out of all the sea creatures you would want to encounter as a scuba diver, the ribbon eel would likely be near the top of your list. The blue ribbon eel in particular is an incredibly beautiful creature with its blue and yellow elongated body and tiny dragon head. They grow up to about 4 feet long and have yellow dorsal fins set on a blue body. They start life completely black with a yellow dorsal fin and transition to blue and yellow as they age. But aside from their coloring, ribbon eels are noticeable by their weird-looking flared nostrils and gaping mouths. They also have little filaments on their lower jaws and one on their snouts. Most people don't see the entire body of a ribbon eel while scuba diving. Instead, they see the head poking out of a hole in a rock or a cave. If they see you, they'll quickly retreat into where they came from. 
Because they are so beautiful, many experienced aquarium owners try to keep them as pets, but they are incredibly complex and require special care. They need a large tank, no tank mates, and plenty of hiding holes for them to hide in with sand. Many owners also fill their tanks with cave-like structures and PVC pipes, and they learn very quickly to secure the tank lid since they can easily escape. Number 4. Frilled Shark Frilled sharks are the marine creatures of your nightmares. They are prehistoric-looking creatures living in the open ocean's dark depths and grow up to nearly 7 feet long. They get their name from their frilly gill slits that look pretty different from other sea creatures and sharks. Very little is known about their ecology because they are rarely encountered in the wild. However, we have a fair idea of their predatory style. They are active predators and can lunge at prey and swallow it whole, even if it's a large fish, squid, or shark. They swim through the water in a serpentine fashion and have long teeth with long points they can use to snag the soft bodies of their prey. They are not fussy about what they eat and will basically go after anything they like the look of and believe they can overpower. We don't actually know how many frilled sharks exist, but they occasionally end up as accidental bycatch. No fisheries actually actively target them for food. Some experts think that because we rarely see them and since they are sometimes captured, they are near threatened. Number 3. Fox Crab Fox crabs are definitely not like most other crabs you'll see, and their name comes from their looks. They have four concealed pairs of walking legs set underneath a rounded, dome-like body with wing-like extensions on the side. They also have broad and flat claws that they hold like shields to protect the front of them. Their claws and the addition of the extensions give them their box-like shape and, ultimately, their name. Most box crabs are found on sandy patches of coral reefs and sandy flats. They spend most of their days buried in the sand, leaving only their respiratory openings and sensory structures open to the surface. However, when they're hungry, they walk out in the open and forage for snails. They range in size from 3 to 6 inches wide, and there's a smaller, two-horned box crab that only grows up to 2.5 inches. But their size doesn't disadvantage them, because they can hold their own against predators and easily find food. They protect their heads while eating with their large, flattened claws, and their claws are also specialized tools for eating snails. They're like the Swiss knife of the ocean. Number 2. Squid Worm you would think that we had discovered all species long ago, but we're still finding new ones all the time, and the squid worm is one of the more recent ones. Marine biologists found it for the first time in the Celebes Sea in 2007, where it lived in an area of the Coral Triangle in the Philippines. Ever since it was found, it has intrigued researchers worldwide, mainly because it took such a long time to find and due to its unique body structure. They grow up to nearly 4 inches long, which is actually quite large for a marine worm, and they have squid-like tentacles covering their bodies. They also have weird appendages that are even longer than their bodies and eight arms that they use for breathing. There are even two long appendages for feeding, and they have six organs on their heads to help them taste and smell. You might also notice paddle-like features on their bodies, and these function as propulsion paddles to help them swim upright. Scientists are deeply intrigued by all these random appendages and believe they have a deeper meaning than what they appear to use them for. They wonder whether they might exist as transitional worms between two different environments. Number 1. Nudie Branch Nudie Branch, also known as sea slugs, are marine gastropods with radular feeding organs, no shells, no gills, and no mantle cavities that you would typically find on other mollusks. They have random growths on their bodies called serrata, and these are defensive mechanisms that discharge nematocysts from the food they eat and are also used in gas exchange. The sea slugs also have weird antenna-like organs on their heads. Most nudie branch grow up to about 16 inches long, and they're most commonly found in shallow waters worldwide, where they'll find the most invertebrates to eat. Their favorite food is sea anemones. Out of all sea slugs, these ones would have to be the most noticeable. It's hard not to notice their white bodies with subtle black stripes on their body and a little fluffy growth at their tail end. 
we definitely have some weird and wonderful animals. And most people will be glad they won't see most of these in person. Have you encountered any of these mysterious sea creatures before? If so, what was the experience like? Share your story in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.